High-tech gadgets you see on TV crime shows are actually making it to tri-state streets. Nine on your side, Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe shows you the latest crime-fighting tool. Brendan? And this is a neat one, guys. Investigators in Ohio have a secret weapon. It's a laser capturing images and just maybe capturing a killer. This is not a video game. It's a murder scene rendered in 3D by a revolutionary scanner. And essentially this brings the jury to the crime scene without having to leave the jury box. A green laser bounces off this spinning mirror, which is mounted on a turntable, measuring distances to every surface it hits, while a digital camera snaps high-resolution photos of the entire crime scene. Then analysts create a 3D composite you can walk through. The scanner itself does millions and millions of points that it scans, and then it takes 260 photographs. So it maps those photographs onto those points. Crime scene photography has been around for more than a century, capturing a moment in time and preserving the scene as it was just moments after the crime was committed. That was then. This is now. This is not a two-dimensional photograph, but a 3D virtual crime scene investigators can leap into and walk around. They can go over here by the front door to see what the killer saw when he or she walked inside the house. This is an actual cold case crime scene. They can go down here, look at the lower level where the body was found downstairs. They can even see what witnesses saw from their perspective. They can walk upstairs to see what was going on up there at the time of the crime. This adds a whole new dimension to crime scene investigation. There was only one witness to this crime. Um, she walked in and saw her husband was shot and dead, and this now gives us her perspective of what she saw that day. The body was found here on the top steps leading down to the basement. Using the 3D rendering at the witness's height, investigators are able to test her claim she saw the body while walking into the kitchen. And they need to know from the top of the stairwell if you're able to see a body that was laying on this back stairwell. It also is good in courtroom presentations where we can show it in front of a jury and the jury can virtually walk through the scene and see it as we saw it. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is getting five of these scanners. BCI Special Agent Brian White uses the device as a virtual tape measure, making precise measurements without going back to the scene. It can even track a bullet back to the point where it was fired. You follow that path and your shooter's somewhere along that line. So you can go back and say, oh, that's exactly where that shell casing was, or that's exactly where the blood was, because now it's preserved in a 3D format. It's a hot lead on a cold case, one the killer could never have imagined when a man's life ended here in 1987. That's pretty cool stuff, right? By next month, all five scanners will be spread around the state at BCI regional offices for rapid deployment right after a crime occurs. They've already been used in several pending criminal cases. Hmm. Guys? That is really impressive, Brendan. Mm -hmm. Very cool.